In this morning's Health Watch, Standing Up to Cancer, on tonight's primetime special, you'll meet two very special teenage friends, each battling cancer in their own way. CBS News correspondent Elaine Quijano is here with their story. Lane, good morning. Good morning to you, Harry. Well, you know, when you're recovering from a debilitating illness, friends are especially important. They can give your spirits a much-needed lift, and it's even better if that friend happens to be a movie star. They may look and act like typical teenage friends. Abby's great. She's a good friend, and we can talk about anything. Is it really funny? Yeah. Yet these two girls are anything but typical. Abigail Breslin is a 14-year-old Oscar-nominated actress, famous for her role in Little Miss Sunshine. I don't want to be a loser. Pierce Quessenberry is a 13-year-old brain cancer survivor. It was horrible. Words can't even describe everything I went through. Avery has a brother here. Their worlds seemed miles apart until Abigail was invited to visit the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. The actress met the cancer patient and both their lives changed forever. That's so cool. I love the, I love the windows. Thanks. Abigail can't go out in public without being stared at. And when I was going through treatment, I had no hair. People stared at me all the time. So I feel like even though it was very different, we had that connection there that was the same. Is this your teddy bear? Yes, donut. The girls oh, became donut. friends, and, and a this. few months later, both traveled to Los Angeles to take the fight against cancer public, appearing together in the 2008 Stand Up to Cancer telecast. And kids, tell your parents you'll give a dollar if they'll give 10. After the telecast, the girls continue to stay in touch, visiting each other whenever possible and texting each other often. We just got along as friends, and, and cancer wasn't really um, a big part of our, our relationship. We she just... wasn't Pierce, your friend with cancer. She was just exactly. Pierce, Exactly. She friend. was just Pierce, my friend, yeah. Two years after the girls first met, Pierce is cancer-free. This year, both will again take part in the Stand Up to Cancer telecast, but with one profound difference. Instead of wearing an in-treatment T-shirt, like many others on the show, Pierce's will say, survivor. So putting on that survivor shirt is going to be huge for you. Yeah, really big. Um, I don't even know what I'll do. I'll probably start crying on, right on the spot because it was a long battle to get to where I am. A battle, she says, she has not fought alone. I just want to say that, like, through all of this, Abby has really just been the one thing in my life that's, like, I can turn to, and she's there. She's always there. It's good to have her there. She's really a great friend. And one of the reasons that Abigail Breslin got involved in the fight against cancer is because her grandfather died of lung cancer about a year before she shot Little Miss Sunshine. So mm -hmm. very personal for her as well. It's a good story. We remember this special from two years ago, Stand Up to Cancer, raised about $100 million. What is, what is the goal of the show tonight? Well, of course, the goal would be to raise money and try and surpass that number. You're right, $100 million is what they were able to raise in the 2008 Stand Up to Cancer telecast. So not only do they want to try and surpass that goal, Mm -hmm. They also want to show people where the money that they have raised so far right. is going, some of this really cutting-edge research. And right? Katie was here the other day and showed us some of that really impressive stuff. Elaine, thank you so much. Sure. Stand Up to Cancer airs tonight at 8, 7 Central on CBS and the other major television networks. So tune in.